If you've ever had the privilege of finding one, you will be captivated by these mysterious examples of flint napping in miniature. Prehistoric arrow points are often very small, and although these close-ups make them appear large, in reality, they can often fit on the tip of your finger with room to spare. Adding to the mystery is the fact that these tiny stone points are not isolated to a particular tribe or region. Instead, they are found across North America. For years, collectors assumed that such tiny stone arrow points were used for shooting birds, earning them the nickname bird points. But recent advances in archaeology have allowed scientists to test for minute traces of blood still remaining on these tiny points. Instead of bird blood, these points tested positive for blood from big game like deer, bighorn sheep, and even elk. It was a revelation, but the doubts still persist. How well do these tiny stone points really work? My interest in archaeology has granted me access into the collections of several museums to view numerous Native American archery artifacts. And what I found was that many Native American bows were rather light in draw weight, rarely exceeding an estimated 45 pounds. With this knowledge, I made an Osage orange bow pulling 40 pounds. The string was made of twisted deer sinew and the arrows were made of lightweight reed. With this weapon, I would test the penetration of four tiny points on a fresh deer that my brother had just killed. What we're doing tonight is testing the penetration of bird points, these tiny little stone arrow points that you find on prehistoric sites all over North America. I've made these out of various types of flint and what we're going to do is test them, the penetration capabilities of these points on a freshly killed deer. Okay, here we go. Let's see how these little things work. Wow, it went through to the other side. Check that out. Okay. Broke the tip off, but... Yeah, it did. It did go deeper. It's just underneath the skin. Right there. It's right there. I can feel the tip. It seemed like it came off the bow like this. Oh, well, we'll be able to see when it hits. Though 40 pounds may seem too light for a big game hunting weapon, the trade-off is a bow that's easier to draw and easier to shoot accurately. At close range, this 40 pound bow and the reed arrow, which weighed in at only 300 grains, had no problem penetrating to the far side of the chest on this deer. In fact, every single shot would have been quickly lethal and would have brought down this deer within seconds. The stone points also suffered surprisingly little damage, and although I lost one stone point when I withdrew the arrow from the deer, it was most certainly intact. This test shows that ancient people were capable of bringing down large game even with their low poundage bows and very small stone points. 
Of course, this is something I already know from personal experience because I've killed several deer with small stone points and they are amazingly lethal.